GP4000 series HMIs ship with a protective film over the display and bezel. It is recommended that this film be left in place during the installation of the HMI to prevent scratches. After installation, carefully remove the film by peeling from one corner. Now let's have a look at the back of the HMI. Depending on the model, the ports and their placement will vary. As mentioned earlier, this is the PFX GP4601 TAD 12 inch model. This is the view from the bottom of the HMI. On the left is the power connector. Depending on the model, this can be a 24 volt DC or 100 to 240 volt AC connector. Be sure of your model's working voltage to prevent damage from an incorrect power source. The included installation guide covers the voltage ranges for the AC and DC models. Moving to the right is the SD memory card and battery access door. The battery is user replaceable. The GP4000 series uses secure digital memory cards. To the upper right of the access door is the USB-A port. This connector is for use with barcode readers and USB memory sticks as well as programming with the Proface CA3 USB-CB01 USB cable. The use of USB memory sticks and barcode readers will be covered in other modules. To the right of the USB-A port is the COM1 port. This is an RS-232 communications port. Pinouts for this port are diagrammed in the GP4000 series installation guide included with the HMI. Device specific cabling diagrams and corresponding Proface cables are detailed in the device connection manuals installed with GP Pro EX and online. Directly below the COM port 1 is the USB mini port. This port is used for program transfer to the HMI via a PC and GP Pro EX. Proface offers the ZC9 USCB MB1 cable for this, but a regular high quality USB A to USB Mini B mail cable works. To the right of the COM port 1 is the COM 2 port. This is an RS-422-485 port. As with COM1, the pinout diagram is in the installation guide. Device specific connection diagrams and Proface cables are detailed in the device connection manuals. Pinouts for the GP4000 series COM ports are different from the AGP3000 series COM ports. Be aware of this when migrating from the AGP3000 to GP4000 series HMIs. To the lower right of COM port 2 is the Ethernet port. This is a 10 base T and 100 base T port. This port can be used for program transfer via the PC and GP Pro EX. It is also used for Ethernet device connectivity as well as connection to a Pro Server EX data management network. The accessories included with the PFX GP4601 TAD are shown here. Specific accessories will vary with the particular model. Please be aware that these items are taped under the packaging in the HMI box. Another critical component is the gasket. This gasket must be installed properly in order to maintain the HMI's NEMA 4X rating. The gasket should be carefully placed in the groove on the bezel, paying particular attention to the corners. The gasket must not be allowed to slip from the groove in the corners as shown here. A piece of polycarbonate sheeting is shown here to demonstrate proper use of the gasket and mounting clamps. Pay particular attention to the cutout dimensions for the specific model. An accurate cutout ensures a proper gasket seal. Since we're discussing mounting the HMI, another new feature introduced with the GP4000 series is the retaining clip. This clip allows the HMI to remain in the cutout without falling out. This eliminates the requirement of someone on each side of the panel when mounting the HMI.